You may have seen a video we posted recently on the Drive Tribe YouTube channel about an F1 engine that Porsche built using tech from the 919 LMP1 project. It didn't make the Drive Tribe video, but I managed to grab X919 driver Neil Yanni for a chat about the car, discovering what made it so special to drive. Amazingly, we've got Neil Yanni here, who was a winner in this very car in 2016. Neil, we're talking specifically about the engine of this car, and one problem it had was a lot of vibration at the start of its development. Did that continue on? Was it quite a vibrating car? No, luckily not, because otherwise we could have never driven a race. Uh, the, the vibration in the beginning was so heavy that, you know, you started coughing in the car. Oh, wow. Because you were like, <coughs> and uh, yeah, it was, that was, uh, it was very difficult in the beginning, but they managed it super quick to turn it around, and in the end, the car was very smooth. Okay, and what is your abiding memory of driving this car in terms of how it felt compared to stuff you've driven since? Where, how do you gauge what this car is like on a track? A lot of power, a lot of downforce, and a lot of buttons to push. That's basically, in a short nutshell, in a nutshell, everything explained. But it's the most powerful car I ever drove. Uh, we had, I think, 0 to 200 kph, that's what, 130 miles per hour about, in uh, about five seconds, four and a half to five wow. seconds. So the acceleration, you had to control it also with a, a traction control on front and on the rear. <laughs> so we had traction control on both axles. And yeah, that, I mean, there's so many things that, that came into it, but just the sheer power was amazing. So what was it like when you were first presented with this package? They're like, right, Neil, we've got a new car for you. Here it is. It must have just been mind blowing to be like, right, it's got a V4 engine. You've got double hybrid going on. What was that like to take in? Well, the first moment you think, oh, it's a four-cylinder, it doesn't have so much power. But then they say, tell you, well, well don't, don't worry. We have a front electrical engine, the rear. The combined, we have more than 1,000 horsepower. So I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I, I, I grew to get the car. We started it from zero. We started developing it. I think that was the special thing between me and, and the other drivers who were from beginning on in the project. We grew together the whole development of the technology. It was new technology yeah. that came together and, and we made it better and so on. So it's something uh, I think all of the drivers which were part of the, of the 919 uh, show uh, can be proud of because we've really uh, started something and, and started it from zero and, and made it work, that technology. There's a six cylinder engine shit sit on a shelf somewhere at Port, and then they're going to put it in a Le Mans Daytona, Daytona hybrid. You're definitely not allowed to tell me anything if that's true, but I just wanted to gauge reaction by me saying that. Either a Porsche hypercar or an LMDH with essentially a V6 of what that is in it. I think we'll, we'll know hopefully uh, soon, uh, but yeah, for me it would be great to go back because. That was the best time of my career with this car at Le Mans and it would be nice to continue that story at Le Mans with Porsche. Perfect. Neil Yanni, thank you. Welcome. I will forever be fascinated by the 919 Hybrid, especially because I discovered just how cool this car was just as it retired from racing. But with the hypercar class now on the horizon, there could be something equally as cool coming to Le Mans very soon.